Okay, this is a bonus bit of video because I have worked out a way of how to make a switch for this so that you can put the card on the mantelpiece, have it lit up for a couple of hours, whatever, then switch it off and leave it overnight and then do the same thing the next day if that's what you want to do. I've actually got one uh, on my mantelpiece at the moment which has been going solidly for over 24 hours. So the batteries do last a fair length of time, but, you know, <laughs> they're not going to last forever. Took me a while to work out how to do it, but it's actually very simple when you know how. Right, let's have a look at the front of the card. Now this is very simply done. A cutout in my card front. I've cut out the design in a sparkly glitter card. I've put a bow on already because obviously it makes it neater if you can wrap it around the front panel. Put that little bit of decoration on. And underneath this I have acetate and then I suddenly realised I had some of the embroidery backing which was coloured in the right colour. And I thought, oh, that would look pretty under that. So I've put that behind it as well. But that is basically it. It's cut with a very, very slight offset from the front of the card, but only a minute offset. Right, let's go to the more important detail. This might look a little peculiar um, and does. The first bit is to put some foam around the outside of the card, but within your border. Obviously, you don't want it to show. Now, you'll notice it's got this funny little flap, and that's a very important flap. On this side, I have a brad. Now, I've got some brads I've had for years. I bought them, must be 12 years ago, I think. And I very seldom use them, but this is going to come in handy because this is going to form part of my switch. It'll become clear, don't worry. On here, by the way, I have, if you could just about see, I have my design sort of embossed into it so that I can actually see where I need to place things. And my battery is going to go there. I am using the same CR206 2016 battery. It's designed for calculators, but they're nice and thin and very lightweight. I have somewhere got my light bulb. I've mislaid my light. Ah, here it is. <laughs> and as I mentioned in the earlier video, I have filed down these wires because copper wires of the type that I'm using, these fairy lights, these battery fairy lights, they have a coating on them and if you don't take the coating off you won't be able to see your light light up because it won't work and that would be rather sad. So I have that and I have some basic sort of copper wire from electrical wire that my husband sorted out for me. So I'm just going to take a string of that and I have tested this, I will show you, but I have tested it to check that it's working. There we go. It's always a good idea to test it before you put it in the card, just to make sure. And all you do is, as I did before, twist these wires together to make a join. So we have a wire there. And we need to attach another wire to there. So since I'm being very wasteful, I'm just going to get another wire and put it on and trim it off afterwards. I can't be bothered to measure it all out at the moment. So again, twisting it up. Obviously, if you have the copper tape, you can use copper tape to make your circuits. I don't have any. And the postage to get it was more than the copper tape, so I thought stuff that idea. Okay, I know where I want my lamp to go pretty much. So I'm going to make sure that the wires sit fairly flat and put it in place. And all I'm going to use for that is good old sticky tape. Mine happens to have a pattern on it, which is quite useful when you want to see where you put it. But other than that, it's just normal tape. And away from your window, you want to stick it both sides. So I'm using rough line of design to hide my wires. Doesn't have to be too careful, but you know, just to 
keep it out of the way. Right, I've stuck my two wires down here and I've trimmed this little wire off. Now this area here is where my battery is going to be and I've just trimmed it so that it will go right the way underneath the battery and that's where it will stay quite happily. So I would put my battery on there and then check that my circuit is working, which it is, so that's fine. Now this one, what I want to do with this is see this little flap that we were talking about earlier. This is going to go down the centre of that flap. So I'm going to put some sticky tape to make it go where I want it to go. And then I'm going to put that to the back of the card. So it goes over that flap, around the other side, and back up there. And then that's going to be trimmed away. Just trim it off with a pair of scissors. And I've got my leftover one here because that's probably going to be used in a moment. And so that can go there. Now you can do all sorts of things if you want to neaten up that piece on the inside but to be honest it doesn't look that untidy so I'm really not too bothered and that will fold away so what we now need to do is to bridge the gap between that and that and that's where one of these other wires comes into play so just put a piece of sticky tape on here and I'm putting it so that it goes across the top area here, not near the base of it, near the top area. And I'll explain why in a moment. Now you could probably do this by putting hot glue over the top. I haven't actually tried it, but I see no reason why you shouldn't. So I would then have my piece some more tape on my left side here. Have my wire going underneath my battery and then this one has to be taped over the top of the battery. Now you want it quite taut, okay? You want it reasonably tight there and you want to stick it down well. Stick it down well. Don't want it moving. All right. So we have our wire bridging this gap here. And then when that comes into contact with it, it's going to switch it on. Now, one other little thing that I want to do is to put a piece of foam tape. I've got some leftovers and various bits here. I want to put some foam tape over that. Not, this is sticky tape, so I've got to make sure I put it up that way, okay? Because I don't want it to stick the flap shut, so it does have to go up this way. So I'm going to place that sticky side up over here. Now, the reason I do that is because it aids the contact when the flap is shut and make sure that there's a little bit of pressure against that wire. So again, when we shut, it comes on. And it doesn't have to be really hard pressed shut. If I had this wire going across down here, you can see there's a much bigger gap because that's the way a hinge works. And I would need to make sure that was really tightly closed in order to make the contact. As it is, it's only got to be lightly closed and the contact will come on. So, for the time being, that gets pushed like so. And it just lifts up at the back. Now, I can put my card front on. Okay, so I've just put some snail tape on top of my phone 
and oops, keep my ribbon out of the way. I can put my card front on like so. Ta-da. Right, so all I have from the back is that. So what we do is we turn our little brad around so that we've got the catch out of the way. And then when we want to have our light on, we put the catch up like so, and it's on. Now you might have to experiment with your brads depending on the size you've got and the distance. In the file, I've actually put a hole here and it was just luck that it worked. Now you can put it so that the brad itself is inside the card invisible. If it's one that you want to show from the front, you can put it through all the layers and that's fine. Just be careful to keep it out of the way of your wires and to make sure that it can rotate freely. So when it comes to putting the frame on with the foam here, just make sure that you can actually turn your brad around a full 360 degrees. But that's how to do it, folks. And it doesn't look that disastrous, I don't think, on the inside. I think that looks reasonably neat. I said, if you really wanted to, you could do some kind of tidying up job, I'm sure. But to me, I think I would be quite happy if I got a card, if that's all I had to do to make it light up, is to just move a little brad to close the catch. I think I'd be pretty happy. Okay, that's it. I hope you enjoy making these for Christmas. And I really hope you leave some comments down below and let me know what you think. Take care now. Bye bye.